Hi everybody, today we are going to go over rounding. So what does rounding mean? Um, we're going to be given a number, usually more than one digit, and asked to round that number to a specified place. So let's just kind of go over what the places are. So I'm just going to throw some numbers out. We have 1, 10, 100, thousand, ten thousand. Last one was a little messy. Okay, so now that we have these written out, let's just label what each place is. So this column is going to be our ones. So it is the rightmost value. The next one on the left is going to be the tens. And as you can see, these are the place um, of where that number would be. So like one is in the ones, 10 is in the tens. Following that train of logic, we have the hundreds right here. The thousands here and the ten thousands place here. So we're gonna kind of go through this with some examples, um, but right off the bat, this will um, identifying what place we're rounding to is going to be helpful. So we've established we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place. So when they ask you to round to one of those places, you're then gonna look to the number on the right of that. If that number is um, greater than five, you're gonna wanna round up. And if that number is less than five, you're gonna wanna round down. So let's just kind of jump right into it with an example. What is 51 rounded to nearest 10? All right, so let's look at 51 and let's identify the places we have here. So this is just a two digit, two digit number. So we just have a number in the ones place and a number in the tenths place. So we want to round to the nearest 10. So that means this is the number we are looking at um, to round. So we look to the number to the right of that, and we have 1. So let's think about this. 1 is less than 5. So that means that we are going to want to round down. Um, so in this case, if we're rounding down to the nearest 10, that means we are going to be rounding 51 down to 50. So I hope that makes sense. And we're gonna just move on to the next example. The more you do of these, the more you'll see the pattern. Um, so what is 145? rounded to the nearest hundred. All right, so let's identify what we're working with. So we have the number given 845 and we want to round it to the nearest hundred. So we have 845. Looking at that, we know that if we're rounding to the nearest 100, that means this is the number we're rounding. This is the place we're rounding. So we look directly to the right of that. In this case, that would be we look at the tens place. And now let's think, is 4 less than, greater than, or equal to 5? 4 is less than 5, so we know that we can round down. 
um, meaning now if we're rounding to the nearest 100, that means we are rounding at 800. Now say, in theory, this question didn't ask for the nearest 100, but say it asked actually for the nearest tens place. Let's just quick see how that would change this problem. Um, so we have 845, and say now we're looking at the tens place. Um, so we look to the right of the tens place, which is the one, and we see five. Now, what is five in relation to five? Is it less than, equal to, greater than? Um, so it's equal to, but we can say, so since five is greater than or equal to five, then that means we round up. That is our general rule of thumb. So then that means we have to round four up. So that's going to be 850 is going to be the answer there. So moving on again, um, a common way to kind of add context to these problems is to put it in terms of money. So what is 768 and 48 cents? Rounded nearest ten dollars. All right, so we're looking at the tens place because of this part of the question, and we are looking at this number. So let's write that out again: six seven hundred sixty-eight. 0.48, and we're looking at the rounding the tens place. So let's look at the number to the right of that. That's the ones place. Let's pull that aside. Now, what is eight in relation to five? Eight is greater than or equal to five. So that means we can round six up to the next digit. So this is going to be $770 is our answer. Um, once again, let's see what happens to this problem if instead of rounding it to $10, what if we just round it to the nearest dollar? Um, so in that case, if we're rounding to the nearest dollar, we are going to look at the ones place. So let's pull um, the tenth place out. So that's your first digit after the decimal point. Four. How is that related to five? Four is less than five, so our rule of thumb tells us that we should be rounding down here. So if we're rounding down, we are left with $768. So this kind of shows how rounding changes your value. Previous, our previous example, when we were rounding to the nearest $10, we had $770, and now that we're rounding to the nearest dollar, we have $768. So it's only a $2 difference in this case, um, but sometimes it can be a much greater difference. So let's jump into another example. What is $156? The nearest $100. All right, so we're rounding this in the hundredth place because of its key part right here. So that our number that we're looking to round is the four and the 456. And we're going to then look to the tens place to decide if we are rounding up or down. So five, let's compare that to five. That is equal to five. And since our rule of thumb is to round up when five is, when the place we're looking at is greater than or equal to five, we are gonna round up in this case. So that brings us to $500 being our nearest $100. All right, so for our last example, let's look at what is 
3,257 rounded to nearest 10, 100 sentence place. So this is going to help us show how we get different answers for each one. So let's look at the 10. So for 32.57, we are rounding this number here. So we look to the right of that and we see seven is our number of interest. And we know that seven is greater than five, greater than or equal to five. So we round that up. So when we round, this becomes 32.60. If we are instead rounding to the nearest hundred, we have 32.57 and we are looking at the two. And the number to the right of that is our tens place. So we pull out that and we say is five greater than, less than, equal to, or five. It's equal to five um, based off of our rule of thumb that's still rounding up. So we will round up our hundreds place here to 33. Hundred, and then our thousand. So if we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we're going to be looking at this number to round, deciding if it stays the same or increases in value. And we are deciding that based off of the hundreds place. So we have two. Now, in rel relative to five, that is less than, two is less than five. So that means we have to round down in this case. Um, so rounding down means that three maintains its value and the following numbers are zero. So kind of just looking at this, you can see by rounding to the nearest place makes your answer very different. Um, our lowest value here is 3000, our highest value is 3,300, they have a difference of 300, so that could be substantial for certain calculations. Um, I hope this helps with your homework and everything.